वेलकम टू वन मोर एपिसोड ऑफ मिनी हैक्स सॉल्व इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल सॉल्व द हैक आइंस्टाइन डिस्कवरी मॉडल्स इन सेल्स फोर्स फ्लोज माई नेम इज चंद्रिका आई एम ए डेवलपर रिलेशन इंजीनियर हेयर एट सेल्स फोर्स दिस मिनी हैक डेमोन्स्ट्रेट्स ए कॉमन यूज केस एंड सर्व एज एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर हब यूजर्स कैन एक्सटेंड द पावर ऑफ डिस्कवरी मॉडल्स इन टू दर बिजनेस प्रोसेस बिफोर वी जम्प इन टू द रिक्वायरमेंट्स लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आइंस्टाइन डिस्कवरी इज Einstein discovery and its stories are a powerful part of CRM analytics. It is integrated into our Salesforce platform so that you can perform data analysis and predictions. It allows us to build AI powered predictions on any data. For example, if you want to analyze opportunities data, Einstein discovery can help you predict the percentage of winning opportunities. It will be helpful for the business. we can take necessary actions to improve the outcomes using the einstein discovery users can automatically discover patterns from the data without having them to build any data models in einstein discovery we can create stories to get insights from our data let's look at stories now a story is nothing but a collection of insights Stories are generated based on the provided data and analytical settings. It gives us insights like what happened, why it happened, etc. A story contains insights about your data along with visualizations and some description to help you better understand the data. Once the story gets created, Einstein discovery will generate relevant insights and patterns for you to explore. Let me quickly show you how it looks like. This is my org. From the app launcher, click on Analytics Studio. This is only available if it is an Einstein Analytics enabled org. This is the Analytics platform. Click on Browse. Here we can see all the assets related to Einstein Analytics and Discovery. Here we can perform data analysis and visualization and predictions. So let's look at store uh, how to create a story. Choose any data set that you want to explore and click on create story. Select a column that you want to analyze. I will choose one. So I want to maximize the one value true for this field. Let me click on next. So you can choose any type. Uh, for now I am choosing insights only. Let it be automated and click on create story. Now it starts analyzing your data using machine learning algorithms and AI. This might take some time so I have already created a story for this demo let's look at it click on stories mm, yeah this is the one which i have created if you see here it shows the average of one opportunities and also some insights like when did it happen the most when it didn't go well and some top insights Now let's talk about the discovery models. When we create a story with type as insights and predictions, Einstein discovery creates a discovery model automatically. We don't need any coding or machine learning knowledge to build these models. Discovery models are built based on the detailed understanding of data as well as the past outcomes. Einstein discovery uses three types of models. one is numeric model this type of model gives outcomes like count currency etc and the other one is binary classification it gives an output with uh, two possible results like true or false and multi class classification this can be used when we have multiple possible results For example, this type of model can be used to predict the next stage of an opportunity. A model accepts one or more variables as input and produces a predicted outcome. In this example, 
if you are using a model to predict the ease one field of an opportunity it will take these variables as input input variables based on the value of these variables it will predict the ease one field of this record so this way it takes input and predicts the outcome once the model is deployed you can use it to retrieve and display predictions in lightning record pages as well as salesforce flows etc now that we have a basic idea of what einstein discovery is and how we can create stories and models let's see the hack discovery models in salesforce flows the use case of this mini hack is to add intelligence to an existing automated process by using discovery models in a salesforce flow right now many emails are being sent to the team based on the account churn score but they want to send email only if the case is likely to be escalated there is an existing flow which sends these emails they want to use einstein discovery to predict if a case will be escalated or not they have created two discovery models to predict this now our job is to make use of these discovery models in the flow and reduce the email notifications by making the flow more intelligent these are the requirements to solve this hack so let's go through them the first step is to create a crm analytics enabled org so we can just click on this link and sign up for this org from trailhead we just have to fill all these details and quickly sign up for this org this org comes with crm analytics platform license and some sample data to play around I have already created this org so let's go to the next requirement we have to install this package this package consists of three components two einstein discovery models and a salesforce flow i have already installed this package so let me show you this package components in my org for the discovery models we have to go to the analytics studio and then we have to choose model manager where we can see the discovery models which have been deployed these are the two models so predicted case time to close window this is a numeric model which predicts the duration that is going to take to close a case and the other model is likelihood of escalation this model predicts if a case is likely to be escalated or not and then we have a salesforce flow which is a partially completed one this is the flow new case alert flow this flow will check to see if the account logging the case is a sensitive account based on the likelihood to churn and notify the account team when a new case comes in a numeric value is stored in the account churn score field so if the value is greater than 80 it is classified as highly likely to churn and a sensitive account now we'll see the flow it will run when a case gets created or updated it runs in asynchronous mode from the first node let's click on edit node it will fetch the account record related to this case by using the account id field from the case and then in this decision node it will check the sensitivity based on the account churn score if it is greater than 80 it is classified as highly sen uh, sensitive account and if this condition matches an email notification will be sent to the team this way it sends email whenever a case is created or updated and if it is related to a sensitive account so now we have to modify this flow and we will use discovery models to predict if a case will be escalated or not and send emails only if the account is highly sensitive and the case is likely to be escalated let's go back to the requirements now so 
the next step is to add an action that uses the predicted case time to close discovery model let's add an action here click on add action choose einstein discovery here and choose the case time to close model give it a label case time to close api name and then click on map fields so here to map the fields we can just pass fields of the record or use the resource variables or formulas from the flow so for this hack they have already set up some variables in the flow so we will just use them time of day tire severity and then origin and then month and then click on done so this action will predict the case time to close and it will be stored as a numeric prediction in the flow variable let's go back to the requirements the next step is to add one more action that uses the predicted likelihood of escalation model let's quickly add one more action choose einstein discovery and then we'll choose the other model likelihood of escalation model give it a label likelihood of escalation api name and now let's map the fields as they have already created these variables in the flow resources we will just simply map them type origin industry and for the duration we will use the prediction from the previous action which is stored as an output in the flow choose the output from the case time to close action and let's choose prediction and then click on done this action will now predict the likelihood of case escalation and this value will also be stored in the flow let's go back to the requirements we have to add one more condition in the decision element to check if the likelihood of escalation is greater than 57 we will click on the decision element click on edit element now we have to add one more condition to check if the likelihood of escalation is greater than 57 so now this decision element will check if it is a sensitive account and the case is likely to be escalated or not based on that it will enter the send email notification node as we have covered all these requirements let us quickly save this flow i will save it as a new version and click on save let's quickly debug this flow as it runs in asynchronous mode let's choose run asynchronously over here and we will choose an existing case to see the output and how it runs click on run yeah it has been executed now let's review the path the orange line in the path is the path in which the flow has been executed for a given case So here we can see that it hasn't entered the send email notification node. Let's review the debug details. So in the first node it got the account record related to the case. In this action using the value of these variables it predicted the case time to close duration which is 4.5. And then in this action it uses the predicted value from the previous step and predicted the likelihood of escalation 
as 24.9 and then in this decision element it checks the conditions so if you see the second condition is not satisfied so the next node won't be executed and the default outcome got executed as we predicted that the case won't be escalated the email notification has not been sent to the team this way we can add more intelligence to an existing business process by predicting the outcome that's all we have solved this hack if you would like to explore more about einstein discovery check out the resources given below in the description thank you